Oh, we're live. Please, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'll go. Uh, three, two, one, go. Uh, so I guess it's probably worth mentioning that normally when you down, go forward, and it's so much faster. Also, I think your mic's off, dude. Yeah. We can hear Spyman, but we can't hear you. Uh -oh. Are you muted on OBS? Yeah. Yeah, in Discord. Confused. So nobody can hear Fonzo? Oh, okay, well, um, coming up is probably the, the first, like, resettable trick. Like, you reset quite a lot on this one trick. Um, even though it's, it's not too difficult, it's just camera angles uh, can screw you up sometimes. Yeah, so climbing up this slide is, like, going up slides is pretty fast, and when you try to climb up the slide, sometimes you can just slip off, or the camera angle will be really awkward, and I don't know, it's just difficult sometimes. Uh, so, we're running in time trial mode because in normal mode, have cutscenes um, in quite a lot of levels and then you have like a short cutscene in every level uh, for the gate which is just when you put gems on the gate um, there's a little cutscene and in time trial that's uh, none of those cutscenes are in there which is also why it's new game plus because you have to play uh, every level to unlock all the time trials
if if you're playing the game, I don't have it on the other on the other stuff. Oh, it's still on me. Are we staying on Mixer or are we switching over? We're on Mixer. For some reason, OBS isn't picking up your mic still, but Spyman is 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 audible. So I think I am too. So I'm gonna shut up and let you do your own. <laughs> Is there a video going right now? Because it's frozen for me. Oh, I think it was just me. Too. Yeah, the strange last one. I got it back. <laughs> Technically, it is, I guess, because you paused. Well, you had a in-game pause. No, we paused the timer. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in the house.
Alright, I'm back. So, uh, most of this level is just pretty straightforward. It's just like, you basically just take the intended group. Um, I don't think there's any tricks except for in the very beginning. Alright, so, uh, a bird foil is basically, um, you wrap around, uh, uh bamboo pole, but the bird assists you and you can climb much faster. I don't know where it would be, it would have to be somewhere in OBS. It's, it's not completely reverse order, but it's not the normal order. Um, and the switches do things that they would So we um, we jump a little gap um, and go up the slide, which again is fast. And then it's just it's just a little faster than having to uh, go around. Or what I used to do is climb up inside the slide, which is also slow. Yeah, it's, it's so much easier to climb up inside, but it's not that hard uh, to just jump and climb up. Yeah, so we're coming up to a strat where um, you jump from, instead of like climbing up a wall and turning a switch, um, you just jump and climb up a wall, and that's basically it, and it saves um, how much time does it save? Saves about five seconds. Alright, so, um, this next level, there's a pretty big jump in the beginning. Um, there's, there's kind of two ways to do it. There's a safer way where you can go, you can jump towards the corner, or you can jump, like, straight towards the gem. Um, and it's only, like, a second or two, uh, faster going straight towards the gem. So it's not that bad.
jump over to the yellow gem and that's the last jump. Yeah, so we're uh, we're going on to the last final level right here. There's a few strats we can yeah. do here. Yeah, so um, getting this switch, you can sometimes just like run straight into it, and um, it'll be it'll be fast. But um, sometimes you only push it a little bit, and then you have to wrap around it, which is still a little faster than you completely wrap around it. And that was another place where a cycle is pretty important, where you get on this, um, I guess, kind of like a windmill, and, um, and then after you get this gem, you do a giant leap of faith, and good thing there's no fall damage, because that would definitely do it. And then we come up to uh, what we call an elevator, um, which is, uh, in this game you can climb up slanted balls, and when you combine a slanted wall in a corner, it's uh, it's a really fast climb. So here we uh, we climb up this corner and then turn around and leap in without uh, turning the switches, which you're supposed to do to rotate these pillars to make it easier. But we don't do that because it's uh, speed. Uh, now we're coming up to a slanted platform. Um, it's 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 a big angle, so like it's pretty fast to climb up. It's not like it takes a while. Um, and then there's no real like skip for this jump, um, except for moving. And sometimes you can fall through the hole during the cutscene, but it's risky because you might not turn the switch, and then you would have to go all the way back up.
So now there's another windmill, and you can, um, you can do it faster or slower, like, it just depends on what cycle you get with it, sometimes you can grab the far left, um, blade, I guess you want to call it, if, um, if you're fast enough, and then you can just, like, stretch out and grab the red gem, um, it's just, like, small optimization. versions of a, of a little jump that just saves a little time. Um, you can wrap around the pole and then keep going and leap, or you can just wrap like twice and leap, but um, sometimes you won't make it and you'll fall and that's not good. That's a lot of times uh, time loss. Uh, and you'll have to go all the way back. Yeah, so now we're going on to Hurricane Heights, which is, um, like, the most broken level in the game. There's skips for every gem, um, and the green gem, which we do second, there was a skip that was very hard, but then Flotsam found a consistent way, which is basically a backup method. Um, so if you don't get it the super fast way, then you can just, uh, do it the... The slower way, which is only like 10 seconds slower, but, um, but it still saves, like, I don't know, it's like a minute, or a minute and a half. Uh, it's still a lot of time save. Um, basically you can get your tail into a sphere, which activates the wind, so when you die you can go back and carry it.
like there's been a lot of uh, development with it and roots and ways to do those roots and stuff. Um, we've determined that uh, green, red, yellow is the fastest way. And uh, first you get green and then you go back to the start and go get red a different way, which you'll see. So there's a little time save here where instead of going on those skinny things, you just um, you just jump over to the island, um, assisted by the pillar, which helps you get a little more height before you jump, and then you jump over and just climb up and go get your jump. So Flotsa did the riskier way of getting the jump. Um, you can wrap around that little pillar that he did on the way back to get it, and then go back, but that way is just faster and a little more risky. Now we go back to the beginning, and uh, when you go back up, instead of going to the right, you go to the left and climb up that pillar. So after we grab uh, Red Gem, there's uh, two more, well, uh, kind of three more cycles, and if you get good cycles, then this level can be a lot faster than if you get really slow cycles, which can lose you a lot of time. And time is coming up. Um, Near the end of this, or at the end of this level, when he goes in the portal and then the screen turns blue, then it's done.